Hello again everyone. Uh, Led Zeppelin, from my previous video, Led Zeppelin didn't start off as Led Zeppelin, they started off as the new Yardbirds. Jimmy Page is, uh, was transitioning from the Yardbirds into Led Zeppelin with different members, but uh, this is kind of the heart of 60s record collecting in a way, and I'll show you some Yardbirds albums. This is the first album um, five Live Yardbirds. This is an original copy from the 1960s, British album. Keith Relf, Chris Dreja, the very young Eric Clapton, 1964. Paul Samuel Smith, Jim McCarty. This is a Canadian copy of the first studio album of the Yardbirds. It's, uh, here it was called Heart Full of Soul. And Jeff Beck had replaced Eric Clapton in 1965. Although this album has several tracks that have Eric Clapton played guitar on. For Your Love, I Ain't Got You, and I think there might be a few others on here. Have, this is an American copy, Having a Rave Up with the Yardbirds. It's on American Epic. The Yardbirds were in Epic in the States and on Capitol in Canada. Nice color photo on the cover. There's Beck with his uh, famous, I think it was an Esquire. Now here it gets a little bit complicated. This is a Canadian copy of Over Under, Sideways Down. It's a stereo, Canadian capital. We have Keith Ralph, Jeff Beck, Jim McCarty, Chris Dreja, who was the, the rhythm guitar player. Jimmy Page joined the band, and Jimmy Page started on bass, but he and, uh, and Dreja swapped instruments. Dreja went to bass, um, Page played guitar, so for a short time there was the twin lead guitars of Page and Beck. I think they only released one single, I think it was happening ten, year, ten years time ago, and Psycho Daisies. And they were in the film um, Blow Up, where they did Stroll On. As I said, this is the Canadian copy. This is the flip side. The Canadian copy contains the song Shape of Things, or Shapes of Things, which was a minor hit single. This is the British copy of the same album. It's called Roger the Engineer. This is an original 60s copy. Same cover on the back, only it has a different track listing than the Canadian copy. This is Roger the Engineer, the Yardbirds. This is a reissue, Canadian reissue from 1983. Why they would bring this out here again, I don't know, but this is on Epic. And the nice thing about this one is they actually have seven songs on each side, and they included Happenings Ten Years Time Ago and Psycho Daisies. Other than that, it's the same as the uh, British Roger the Engineer album. It does not contain Shape of Things. 1967, Jeff Beck has left the group, so we have Page on lead guitar, Little Games, Canadian Capital, Live Yardbirds featuring Jimmy Page. This is live recordings from the time just before the Yardbirds split up. I think this is from 1968. Though well, this album, though, didn't come out until later. Uh, Jimmy Page, I think, had this album pulled off the market. And this copy here is not an original copy. This is a reissue that came out, I think, in 1972 or 73. The original copy actually had color. It was different colors in this part of the uh, cover photograph, or cover drawing. Now, they were they were actually uh, performing Dazed and Confused in the Yardbirds before Led Zeppelin had been created with you know Keith Ralph on vocals. Now we go to the Yardbirds on Air original BBC recordings. It's a double album, British import, and it's a gatefold. It has some. Um, Kind of the family tree or the history of the Yardbirds here with all the membership changes and things, which is kind of nice. Most of the tracks have Jeff Beck on them, but there are some, I think the last side, a lot of the tracks have Jimmy Page on them as well. Now, 
an album that's Yardbirds related that I'd highly recommend to anybody that's into good old hard rock and uh, Led Zeppelin, Yardbirds type thing, is Armageddon. Keith Ralph, lead singer. After the Yardbirds, he formed a, he, he formed a group uh, called Renaissance, recorded two albums with them, and then Renaissance changed members. Uh, Annie Haslam joined the band, and they went kind of uh, very light, progressive kind of music. But Ralph was an original member of the group with Jim McCarty, and this album here, Armageddon, came out around 1974. It's a great hard rock album, fantastic album. And uh, they only had the one album out. Um, Keith Ralph passed away, electrocuted, much like Les Harvey in 1976. Terrible loss. This is a great album. So I thought I'd show that to you. Now, compact discs. This one here I bought in England. It's a, a reissue of Little Games and uh, cost me £7.99. It has the complete Little Games album and the original album on vinyl doesn't sound that great so it's all been remastered and redone. This sounds so much better. It has additional studio recordings with Jimmy Page from around 1968. It also has some BBC sessions including White Summer and Dazed and Confused. This is the Yardbirds BBC sessions on CD. It's exactly the same as that double album I showed you, except this has interviews with Keith Ralph inter intermixed throughout the, uh, the CD. Jeff Beck, Beckology. The nice thing about this Jeff Beck box set is the fact that there's about a whole CD's worth of Yardbirds stuff in here. And uh, it's, it's, it's a nice way to get the Yardbirds on CD. One more CD I'll show you is, it's called Birdland, and this was, uh, the Yardbirds are still performing in England, and I don't know if they come to North America, but uh, this CD came out, I don't know, five or six years ago, or mid-2000s or early 2000s. They redo a lot of Yardbird songs, plus a lot of new songs, and they have different guitarists, of course, but uh, I think Chris Drasia and Jim McCarty are in the band still, and uh, they do very credible versions of the Yardbirds catalog on this. It's an excellent CD. Sounds great. Books. There are three books on the Yardbirds that I'm aware of. These are the three primary books. The first is uh, was written by Chris Drasia, Jim McCarty, and John Platt, 1983. It's just called The Yardbirds. It's an excellent book. It's uh, kind of hard to find now, but it's really an excellent book. Yardbirds, The Ultimate Rave Up by Greg Russo. This is uh, an excellent book as well. And uh, it goes, one of the nice things about this book is it has a list of all the songs that Jimmy Page recorded on as a studio musician, and there's pages and pages of them. It's really interesting. So it really goes into depth on the catalogs and how the recordings were made, the times of the recordings and things like that. And this one is... I think this is still available. It's called The Yardbirds by Alan Clayson. It came out about five or six years ago. And it's a very good book as well. Highly recommended. So thanks for watching.